This is the HPT. Sit right down, put on your poker face, you with the big dogs now. Better bring your best game, talk trash on your wall. To me, it's all the same, you won't leave with much when you come in second place. I'm the one with the stack showing seven to the jack on Crying your mama cause I'm sending you back I'll be the last man standing with the money in my hand I'll be the last man standing with the money in my hand Last man standing with the money in my hand I'll be the last man standing with the money in my hand Hello everyone and welcome to the HPT I'm James Larson joined by my good friend and poker professional Mr. Robert Williamson III How you doing buddy? I've been great all week. I've ate good. I slept good. It's a beautiful property. They took good care of it. Yeah, the food is fantastic here. I love it. It's it's great. We are here in Mount Pleasant, Michigan, Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. On last week's show, we lost four players, so five remain. The most important thing up top, not only the title, but just over $156,000. And that's a lot of cabbage. Yeah, you can buy a lot of meals with that, too. A lot of drinks. Oh, well, it depends on who's eating. I mean... All kinds of stuff. So we're glad you joined us tonight on the HPT. Let's head right down to the felt. We got to look at chip counts. We got to meet the players. And most importantly, look at that prize pool. Five players remain and a whole lot of cash on the line. Look at that number up top. $156,649. You could buy a lot of steak dinners with that. Buy a lot more than steak. Yeah, buy some cars. Looking at our chip counts here. Sean Roberts on top. Mike, Vinny, don't count out Dave and Kong. Everybody's in this thing. It's the HPT. They all want to be our next champion. Let's get right down to the felt. Blinds, 30,000, 60,000 with a 10K ante. The action will start with Dave Goodfriend. He folds, as does Mike. Now over to Sean Roberts. Sean looks down at King Trey. Looks like he's reaching for chips. I think he's going to open this pot up with the raise. He's going to do just that. Raises to 135,000. Now over to Vinny in the small blind. He's going to make the call with a, a fun little hand, a 7-6 of hearts. Pretty liberal call there from the small blind. The big blind, it's a little bit little bit better call, but uh, speculative hand to say the least. Kong gets out of the way, so we're heads up poker. Ace, 10, 9. A couple of clubs. Vincent is going to check over to Sean. And both players now checking that flop of Ace, 10, 9. Another 9 now comes on the turn. Still only a gutter ball straight draw for Vincent, but you know, sometimes the aggressor wins these kind of pots. All right, Vincent bets 135,000. Wow. <laughs> Sean decides, I, I guess he's floating him, or maybe he thinks King High's good. A little surprised at that call. We go to the river, another ace, this time the ace of spades. Well, now that actually is a pretty good card for Sean's hand. He has aces and nines with the best kicker, a king kicker. But Vincent's not the kind of player that just uh, gives up. Looks like he's going to make a bet at it. He's going to make a bet of 140000 Boy, if Sean makes this call, I'm going to be amazed. And it looks like he's reaching for chips, and he's going to do just that. He looks him up. He knew the king was good. Wow. Now, now I feel even better about his turn call. He wasn't floating on the turn. He thought he had the best hand, and he was right. Sean Roberts, it's almost like he could see his opponent's cards. But then again, you look at his resume, over 400000 in total earnings. Nine caches here on the HPT, five final tables, and who can forget... He's a two-time champion. He's trying to become a three-time champion right here on the HBT. We come to you from Mount Pleasant, Michigan, right here at the Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. James Larson and Robert Williamson III broadcasting. We're glad you could join us tonight. Actions folded over to Sean Roberts on the button. He's taking control of this table. He's going to raise it up to 165000 with my favorite pocket pair, pocket nines. From what you've told me, the most likely hand to catch trips. Yeah, every now and then I come up with a stat. You, you can either believe me or agree with me or look it up maybe in the commercial break. But Sean with his pocket nines is going to raise. Oh, and looky here. Vincent's gone all in over the top with ace four clubs. A three-bet shove by Vinny. That's a really, really tough call for Sean. But Thank since you. Vinny's been caught speeding a lot, Sean might buckle up and make this call, and he does. He's going to look him up. He makes the call. He flips over his nines. Sean in the lead. Here's the poor seat. 
Vincent, Zach, uh, yeah, Vincent's still got an overcard, so he's only a two to one dog. A pot of just under four million chips. A lot of money on the line oh, right there in the wow. window, folks. The ace and two jacks. Vinny goes in the lead. Very bad flop for Sean. He needs some help here. A nine will get him out of the trap. We go to the turn card. Now it's not a nine. It's close. The eight of spades. So only two outs will help Sean. Otherwise, Vincent will have the full double up and keep his tournament hopes alive. And this is going to put a big, big ding into Sean Roberts' stack if he doesn't get there on the river. And the river card is the five of diamonds, so Vinny can sit back down. Well, sometimes being the aggressor, uh, even when you get your money in a little bad, you know, he did cause the action to happen, and now he gets a full double off from it. Vincent takes down that pot, and when we come back, we'll have more exciting final table action. You're watching the HPT. Howdy, y'all, and welcome back to the HPT. We're live here at Soaring Eagle Casino Resort. I'm Robert Williamson III, and my partner, the one and only James Larson. Well, howdy. Is that a, is that a Texas thing? Howdy, y'all. I forgot. You're from, uh, you're from down south there, down there in Dallas, right? I am, I am. Blinds are 30,000 to 60,000 with a 10K ante. The action will start with the one seat. Michael, he's going to fold over to Sean Roberts. Both those players fold. Now on the button, we go to Vincent Fiorenza. Looks down at an ace jack. We found out he doesn't need to have cards to bet. I was going to say, this is actually a real hand. I mean, Absolutely. he's raising regardless. But I, now that he's got a real hand, that's a no-brainer for him. We saw the guy raise with seven deuce. I like the way he plays. He's kind of the bully at the table, and he has no fear. Oh, and look at this. Cotton Trans moved all in with two sevens. I don't blame him. He's got a perfect stack size to re-raise. Kong with a three bet shove with his pocket sevens going up against the two big overs. Whenever I'm in this situation and I've got the sevens against those overs, so hard to not fade the ace or the jack. Usually with me, it comes right in the window and we get the pain over with right away. Well, luckily for Kong Tran, he's not you. There's no ace or jack on the, in the cards. The flop comes queen, eight, four, couple of clubs. Keep it low, now we go to the turn card, the four of hearts. So Kong looking to double up. Only an ace or a jack will help Vinny out. Otherwise, Kong's going to get a complete double up right here. Pot size of just over 1.7 million chips. We go to the river card, and it's the nine of clubs. So the double up is complete for Kong. He's going to stay alive at this nationally televised HPT final table. That's always a good feeling when you stand up on an all-in and then when you can sit back down. Only when you get to sit back down. When you're walking back to the cage, it's not so much fun. <laughs> the action continues. Blinds now 40,000, 80,000 with a 10K ante. By the way, Robert, min cash right now, 32,663. So all the players should have a smile on their face. Another Look at this. Ace 10 of clubs for Vinny. He's all in. When Vinny gets a real hand, he's dangerous, but uh oh, he's up against the bigger hand. Here comes the buzzsaw. Dave makes the call with the better hand. The ace king, the other players fold, so it's Vinny's tournament life with his ace 10 going up against Dave Goodfriend's ace king. Now, Vinny was really aggressive by pushing all, the, all in there. He had about 25 big blinds in front of him. So we go to the flop, two queens oh, wow. and a king. Right in the window. Wow. But Vincent still has a jack out and a few runner runner outs. Pot sides of over 4.2 million. Dave Goodfriend, we haven't seen him pick up any hands, but he found one in a good spot. Oh, Look at this, wow. another king on the turn, and that's going to do it. A full house for Dave Goodfriend. The river, pointless, nine of hearts, that's going to do it. Dave wins the hand in a pot of over four million, and Vinny's gone. You know what they say, when you're a little too aggressive, it works till it doesn't work. And this just didn't work this time for Vinny. 
So not for nothing, Vinny goes home with $32,663. Congratulations to him. It was nice to have Tony, his mother, and Vincent at our final table. It was truly a treat for us here on the HBT. The action continues on the button. Dave, good friend, folds. And now over to Mike. Hello, my name is Mike O'Neill from Royal Oak, Michigan. I work for Ford Motor Company as a purchase manager, and I'm looking to chip up early. Uh, it's awkward sitting here with all these cameras around. Uh, you know, a lot of these other players have experience that under the final tables, and uh, you know, it's kind of a little hot already sitting here with these lights. He's going to raise it up to 240,000 with Ace Queen. To the big blind we go, and Sean Roberts. He woke up with a hand too. He's got King Queen. He's going to make the call. Battle of the blinds here in Mount Pleasant, Michigan, Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. James Larson and Robert Williamson III. Boy, we've had great food this week, haven't we? It's just been phenomenal here in Michigan. Beautiful property, gorgeous property, great restaurants, and hospitality, that's the best part of all. 10-7 deuce, rainbow. Mike's going to check over to Sean. Yeah, I like that check in that position. You know, no sense in building up this pot too much. So funny to watch poker players, you know. They're obviously very into the match, but they've got their head on their hand. They're covering their eyes. Sometimes they look like they're maybe ready to take a nap. But that's poker. This is what we do. This is the, this is what we do. Do and love. I do and love. Sean's going to bet 380000 and Mike makes a very quick call. Insta call. Insta -call. Wow. Uh, do 710. Pretty dry board. Yeah. Not, you could take a chance. A little gander on that. Neither player wants to look at each other. Just staring right down at that board. Turn oh, card oh, now, oh. the ace of spades. Wow, now Mike's in a great position to check Rays. Ace of spades, of course, was a very popular Motorhead song. I don't know if you're familiar with the don't remember new that wave one. of uh, British heavy metal. So with that, Mike's going to bet, Sean's going to fold, and that will do it. The winner of the hand, Mike O'Neill, in the one seat, 48 years old, from Dearborn, Michigan, a graduate. Michigan University. Around here, we've got a lot of arguments with the we got the Michigan State fans, we got the Michigan fans, but who can forget Central Michigan? Right the Chippewas. Here. Gotta love the Chippewas. More exciting action when we come back from this commercial break. You're watching the HPT. Welcome back to the HPT. James Larson alongside Robert Williamson III. We're in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Sorry, Eagle Casino and resort we've had a lot of fun here in michigan sure has been great time the restaurants here the gambling here heck the hotel's beautiful it's been an awesome week and where did dave goodfriend come from i know he lives in chicago illinois but this guy out of nowhere all of a sudden he's leading this whole deal he was very patient he waited and picked his spots boy talk about that talk about being patient that's hard when you don't get any cards does it just kind of drive you crazy? And what do you do? Do you just tell yourself it's 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 going to come? It's going to come. You just have to believe. I mean, uh, but you do have to show a lot of patience if, if the cards aren't cooperating with you. Well, they're cooperating for Kong Tran. He wakes up with pocket sevens. He's going to raise it up to two hundred and five thousand. Back over now to Dave, good friend, our chip leader. And if you missed it, he got into a big hand where he eliminated Vincent Fiorenza. Vincent wakes up with Ace Ten. Dave woke up with Ace King. He ended up making a full house, kings full of queens, and now he's our chip leader. And he's now going to three bet, because that's what you do when you're the chip leader. You start three betting, re-raises to 595,000 with king queen. He's trying to do a little bully in here, but he's got first bluff position after the flop. And look at this, Kong goes over the top. Oh, wow, four bet. Four bet shove. We have an announcement. There's been a four bet shove here in Mount Pleasant. Over to Dave Goodfriend now. King Queen starts to shrink after a four bet, but he makes the call. He makes the call. And it's classic race situation. We've seen this so many times. Pocket sevens are in the lead up against two big overcards, the king and the queen. The classic quandary, what we call the coin toss. Nine, nine, ten, seven. And the flop is ace for Trey. You know, that's where you look at a hand like King-Queen. You know, if he was up against an ace-four or up against any ace right now, he would have been outflopped. So now we go to the turn card, and wow, that's going to do it. The seven of diamonds. Kong led the entire hand, but now he's going to finish it in a strong way with making a set there on the turn. Definitely a knife in the heart of Dave Goodfriend. Wow, so we see another double up here at this nationally televised HPT final table. If you think you can play with these 
poker stars? Well, why not give it a shot? You can check out our webpage. Just head on over to www.hptpoker.com. Find an event that will work for you, and who knows? Maybe you'll be going home with the unreal cash. You know, it's 2015. Do I still have to say WWW or do you think people have it figured out? <laughs> well, you know, believe it or not, I think you would probably better mention it just in case. Okay. All right. Well, either that or just head on over to HPTPoker.com. And we crisscross all over the country. I would love to see some new players at our events. And I want to thank all the players that came out to make this such a successful event. Mike O'Neill going to raise it up to 250000 with 9 8 Pretty liberal raise. Sean's going to fold from the small blind. Now Kong in the big blind with ace four. And newly acquired stack of chips. It's always nice when you got some new chips. You know, yeah. you kind of want to use them. It's like getting a new shirt. Kinda you want to put it on. Put it in action. Kong is reaching for some of those chips. He's got 30,000 in total winnings, so I got a feeling. Let me look at the min cash right now. It's 43,996, so... A good day for that man right there. He makes the call with his suited ace four. And, and catches a piece of that he one. He sure does. Two sixes and a four, so two pair for Kong, and he's first act. And I don't blame him. I'm going to try to protect my hand here. I'm going to lead at it. And it looks like Kong Trans going to do the same thing. Yes, he is. He's going to make a bet of 290000 Now, my friend here in the booth, Robert Williamson, what he would do here is he would raise and try to represent a six, right? No, I think I would have probably just folded but instead <laughs> mike decided to uh, float this and the turn oh. is the nine of diamonds wow. so the float worked yeah he floated very well now he has a bigger two pair than kong tran has now for some of our folks at home that don't know the definition of float well, why don't you help them out with that well when you decide to call a bet when you clearly don't have much yourself just so you can take away the pot on the later street that's called floating so really, I do a lot of floating, and then I fold on the river. So what does that make me, a, 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 a bad floater? A bad floater. I'm a yeah. bad floater. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we go to the river card. It's the king of clubs. So action will start with Kong. As you see, he's got two pair. He's got sixes and fours. He's going to check over to Mike, who's got nines and sixes. They both check. Somebody's got to turn over their hand. So first we can one over wins. Yeah, first one over. It's that guy right there. I think Mike actually beat him. His 9-8 is going to do it. Two pair, like I said, nines and sixes. He's going to win this hand and a pot of just over 2 million chips. Every pot's important, Robert, at this stage. Every pot's important. Absolutely. The blind's 50 100,000. I mean, everybody's definitely at jeopardy every hand. All right, on the button we go to Dave Goodfriend. Looks down at Queen 10. He's just had a roller coaster of a week and a roller coaster here at this final table. He's been up. He's been down. Things getting a little better for the guy, though. The cards are getting a little better. He's going to take a stab at this. Got the button. He's in good position. It's always fun when that little white disc is in front of you and you Amen. wake up with a couple of... Bigger cards, and Queen 10 is big enough for him to raise a 235000 Now Mike wakes up with pocket ducks. He's going to make the call. Calls from the small blind. A little liberal. There's not really any good, great flops with that don't contain a deuce. That's the only problem with playing really small pairs. Flop, king, queen, six. So Dave gets a piece of that. Yeah, Mike's got to be thinking he's against over cards. There's two big cards on the board. Well, it looks like he wants to re represent that he has it. He's going to bet 100000 It was a 610000 chip yeah. pot before that bet, so just a little a little tickler there, little, I guess. A little feeler, a little feeler bet. And the turn card now is the nine of clubs. Still no deuce for Mike. And gives Dave a gut, a gut straight draw now. So uh, definitely improves his hand. Look at this. Mike's still plowing right at it. That's a tough call for Dave. No, it really is. Mike bets 500000 and Dave makes the call. Got to remember, Dave hasn't seen very many hands that have been playable, and he doesn't want to oh, let this oh. one go. That, my friends, is the jack of clubs. Makes it straight for Dave. Unfortunately, though, three clubs out there, so we'll see what Dave does here. Well, Mike decides to finally give it up. He just checks and check and fold, I assume. And that looks like a pretty decent-sized bet, and it is 495,000 chips. And Mike quickly puts his hand in the muck, and the winner is that man right there, Dave Goodfriend from Chicago, Illinois. He continues his quest to be our new HPT champion.
Welcome back to the exciting action here at the Harlem Poker Tours event in Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. I'm Robert Williamson III with my cohort, James Larson. It's been a great week here. Mount Pleasant, Michigan, Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort, just like Robert said, leading the group, Mike O'Neill. But we've got three players here that want to change that. They all want to be our next champion. Not only will they go home with the title, Robert, but... $156,649. That's a whole lot of cash. Yeah, well, I, I think I'd take the cash over the title, but both. That's even better. Right now, the min cash here, just under 44000 Third place will be 63000 and change. Second place, not too shabby either, 96657 Mike makes the call with Ace-4. Now over to Sean Roberts. That's something kind of new. We haven't seen a lot of limping here. Sean's been playing this tour for so many years. I keep talking about his resume because it's very impressive. Nine caches here on the HPT, five final tables, and two victories for Sean Roberts. It's folded around to Dave, good friend now from Chicago, Illinois. King seven, suited up in the clubs. He's going to check his option in the big blind. And the flop is A7-2, couple of clubs. Yeah. What a dangerous flop for both players. I mean, Mike's got top pair, but Dave's got a flush draw and a pair. Now, this is a, another coin flip. Dave's going to check it. Mike bets 250000 but we know good friends going nowhere. Well, we, we could see some potential big-time fireworks on this hand, I suspect. Dave raises to 745000 Now Mike just makes the call. Is Mike worried about his four clubs? Is he worried about his kicker? I think he's definitely concerned because why he just called. And wow. And the turn card is the eight of clubs. <laughs> so Dave makes his flush and Mike's drawing dead. That's a big card for Dave. And he's probably going to get paid off here if he bets around six fifty, seven hundred thousand, something like that. Feels like the right size bet. Dave loves it. He's thinking my luck's finally turning around. He's going to bet six hundred and ninety-five thousand. I think it's one of the first times today the players have listened to me. He bet almost the exact <laughs> amount I've said. Dave is fifty-three years old from Chicago, Illinois. Well, the reason why Dave's likely to get paid off here is he check raised the flop. It doesn't look like he could have the flush like he already represented strength. So he basically set it up perfectly is what you're saying. He did. Dave, Dave very, friend. very well. Dave putting on a little mini clinic here. The river card is the Ten of Hearts. Action will start once again with Dave Goodfriend. Now Dave needs to bet a smallish bet. He wants to get paid off here. And there's not a lot of hands Mike can beat. So he's got to be real careful on bet sizing. Bet a million, million two. Dave makes a bet, 800, 845,000. Well, he really looking for a payday because that is a very small bet. I don't know, Mike might pay it off, but no, he doesn't. He folds, he avoids Cut it. it up. Come on. Wow, the winner of that hand, Dave Goodfriend, Good a hand. pot of over 4 wow. million Make chips. Let's see that one. All right. Now, back in 2013, Dave made back-to-back -back final tables at Majestic Black Star Moon. and Golden Good Gates, finished 6th and 5th. He's trying to win this thing because, first of all, who doesn't want to be a champion? But second of all, up top, $156,649. Action is on that man right there, Dave Goodfriend, reaching for chips. Again, those, those chips look like the University of Michigan colors, and we are right here in Michigan. He's going to raise a $235,000 with his ace seven at diamonds. Oh, and Sean Roberts wakes up with a bigger ace. Let's see if he decides to make a move with this hand. Thinking about maybe a, a three bet here. Reaching. Oh, no, he's going to wow. fold it. He went from wanting to raise to, wait a minute. Kong just looked at the same head. He's got ace 10 also. I don't think we're going to see that same uh, folding from Kong. Look, Sean Roberts is a great poker player, and he's got kind of this spidey sense from time to time. I think he just knew something's not right here. I'm going to throw these in the muck. So Sean folds. Now Kong is going to make the call with the basically the same hand, ace-10. So it's ace-10 going up against ace-7. The flop is oh, ace-7 wow. tray, ladies and gentlemen, two spades. Well, that's a super trappy flop for Kong Tran. Let's see if he can avoid too much damage on this. I don't know how he's going to, frankly. He's got top pair and a decent kicker. Dave just happened to flop two pair. Hand against hand, one of those situations. Kong checks. Now over to Dave. Dave, of course, flopped two pair. Dave bets 265000 Let's see if Kong plays as conservative. It looks like he 
is just going to call. He did decide to play he's this. Make he's call. trying to do some pot control. That's good. He has a chance of making it through this hand. Turn card now, the eight of diamonds. Kong's going to check. Action over to Dave. And if Dave doesn't get too greedy and bet too much, he should get another payday here. Dave's going to bet 545000 Yep. I mean, if, I, if I'm if i Kong Tran, I've got a call here. I, I mean, I can obviously see he's not in the lead, but uh, I don't see how he can avoid this. And he's going to do that. He's going to make the call. A pot of over 2 million chips. And the river card now is the six of diamonds, so no help for Kong. He continues to check over to Dave. And a fairly innocent six rolling off there. Only a four or five really improved there. And Dave is going to make a bet of 765000 oh, Once again, I feel your pain, Kong Tran. It's hard to avoid paying this off. He check-called all the way down. Don't you have to do it one more time? Yeah, you, the way he played the hand, the story that Kong Tran is telling, I call. He, he, he had does to, just he that. Had to he makes the call. And he's just going to see that, unfortunately, he got outflopped by Dave. And that's going to do it. He puts his hand in the muck. The winner of the hand, Dave Goodfriend. And Dave is making a little name for himself here yeah, at this final I'll tell you table. What, he's amassing some chips. We'll see if he can finish it up when we return right this here on the HPT. Welcome back to the HPT. It's James Larson joined by my financial consultant, life coach, and best friend now. It's been a good week, and he borrowed me some money. It's Robert Williams was, in the third. I just wonder where the financial part came from. <laughs> right. oh, that, that was the last banker. Night. It was the pie gow table. You know, <laughs> things got, uh, we, we made a recovery, so we're good now. Four players remain here at this nationally televised final table, and the guy leading it right now, David Goodfriend. We talked how patient he was on last week's episode. Wasn't getting the cards, but tonight, things are heating up. This has been a clinic so far. This, As of late, Dave Goodfriend really playing well, and patient. So much patience. Robert, poker is just truly a marathon, especially, you know, poker at this level and tournament poker. You can't get antsy. You can't go on tilt. you got to recover. And we're still far from over. We have four players left. We're a long ways from crowning our newest HPT champion. That person is going to be happy, though. I keep talking about the money, 156600 and $49. Kong's going to raise to 255000 Fold it around now to that man. Sean Roberts. We've seen him fold ace 10 before. We'll see what he does here. Now, I think this time you might see him play it. I, I was a little surprised he folded it last time, actually. It's a great poker player. He's going to make the call. Sean's one of the good guys in pokers, too. You see him in the hallways. He's always smiling. You see him in the buffet line. He always tips his hat to you. Pleasure to have Sean playing with us here on the HPT. The flop is 10 9 4, a couple of diamonds. And a great flop for Sean Roberts. But Kong got a big piece of this, too. Sean, I believe, just said all in. Tough decision for Kong Tran. Very tough. Does he have the best hand? If he doesn't, does he have a good enough draw to get there? I don't know. This is a really tough one. I, I'm not sure what I would even do here. I call. He makes the call. Ladies and gentlemen, he makes the call. He's going to see that he's behind in the hand. It's the ace 10 going up against the king 9. You see that Sean hit a 10. Kong hit a 9. Three of spades on the turn. No help. Now Kong needs a king or a 9 or his tournament day is over. The river card is the ace of hearts, and that's going to seal the deal. The winner of the hand, Sean Roberts. And Kong is going to be eliminated, going out in fourth place with just under 44,000. He kind of puts his hands up in the air like, it's really all I could do. It is what it is. Frustration hits at times. And I'll tell you what, Kong Tran played well today. Congratulations to him on his fourth place finish. Poker continues here. Blinds now 50,000, 100,000 with a 10K ante. And then there were three, Robert. There can only players. be one. It's like Highlander. Right. There can only there be can one. Only Whoa, be look one. at those. <laughs> Couple of red aces. Two of them for Sean Roberts. Well, he's in the small blind, and he's contemplating, all right, what do I raise here? Now, playing three-handed, you wake up with aces. You're in the small blind. What is a proper raise here? Uh, I still like the, the two, two and a half times the big blind, you know, 250, something like that, 235. And he's grabbing some chips. Looks like 265,000. 
Now over to Dave Goodfriend. Looks down at King Queen. Well, he's definitely feels like he'd have to defend in this spot. King Queen, you got two face cards, three handed. It's a big hand too. Do you feel it's an overplayed hand? I know we're three handed right now, but do you see a lot of amateurs overplaying the King Queen? Absolutely. You see it all the time, matter of fact. And and so many times you're dominated. That's the right. problem. That's the problem. You're up against Ace Queen or Ace King. You're mm -hmm. in really bad shape. This time he's in bad shape because he's got an over pair to it. Oh boy. Oh Danger boy. Will Robinson. Yikes. Danger. King eight tray couple of diamonds. Danger Will Robinson. This is a bad flop for Dave. He thinks it's a great flop. That's the part that's bad for him. Wow. Sean's going to bet 265000 Dave's thinking, yeah, I'm all right here. This is okay. This is what I wanted to see. I think Dave's actually thinking, how can I extract more chips out of Sean Roberts? I don't think he realizes he's the one in trouble. Dave makes the call. Now, we know Sean did raise preflop, but I don't think Dave has any idea. He maybe has one ace, he's thinking, but not two of them. Yeah, it's, oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, wow, look at this. Queen of spades on the turn. Wow. You know what I say? It ain't no fun when the rabbit's got the gun. Well, Dave just got there, and Sean Roberts is going to be caught blindsided. What do you think of Sean's check there? I'm actually shocked that he decided to check there. This, I think he can read people's minds. I think he can read the cards. Oh, oh no, he check. was checking oh, raising. Oh my gosh. Yes. So it goes check, a bet of 495, and now one Sean check one. raises. We haven't one seen one. that all night. He raises to 1.1 million. All in. And now an all in. I don't see how either one of them can it's get away disaster, from this. It's a disaster, Robert. <laughs> it it's is. a disaster for Sean Roberts. I could counterfeit you with a three or an eight. Did you hear what he said? He says, I can counterfeit you with a three or an eight. He just said that. Fold. He folds it. Wow, what a monster laydown. Folds the aces. Dave's probably a little in shock uh, about that fold. Wow, Sean Roberts. This guy knows how to play poker. Now, you used to be my, my life and poker coach, but I think I'm going to give Sean Roberts a call. After that fold, I don't blame you. He's got it figured out. Wow, Sean Roberts. He's putting on a clinic of sorts. He folds. Now over to Dave, good friend. Just three players remain. Right now, the minimum cash, 63,327. Second place is 96,657. But the, the big goods are up top, $156,649. Dave raises the 270000 Mike makes the call. Battle of the blinds. I do like the fact that Dave Goodfriend is using his stack size to his advantage. He's using it like a weapon, like a sword, and just slicing at him. Well, it helps when you flop the top two pair. Hello, nine, seven, four. Everything going great for Dave Goodfriend. I like him. He's very relaxed. He's just very chill at the table. He's got his shades. He's got his jersey. He's got his Derby Wars hat. And a bet of 295000 Whoa, oh. Mike's all in. Oh, oh, oh. And an oh, instant yeah. call. Oh, man. Sometimes when you step into the trap and it slams shut on you, it's a horrible feeling. I feel for you, Mike. I feel wow. for you. Now he needs a runner, runner to even stay in this. Well, Whoa. they caught one part of it. Jack of spades there on the turn. Only person holding the spade is that guy right there in the one seat. Any spade except for the seven of spades. So we go to the river, a pot of over 4.3 million chips. Both players standing up. The oh, river no is help. the deuce of diamonds. That's going to do it for Mike O'Neill. I mean, in a lot of ways, he got lucky that he even had outs on the river, so at least he got a good sweat in. Well, you know, Robert, if there was an undo or a redo or a mulligan in poker, I have a feeling Mike would use one right there. The good news for him is I don't think he'll make that mistake again. The bad news is it cost him his tournament life. And you know what? It happens. We're all gamblers. He just made a mistake there. But the good news for him, Mike, for the ride home, you know, this is going to be all right. It's going to be okay. Just over $63,000. So congratulations to you. And when we come back, it's heads up poker. This is too close to call. Absolutely. It's going to be a epic match. Stick around. Two players left. Dave Goodfriend, Sean Roberts, both regulars on the HBT. We all know these guys real well. And this is going to be exciting, and this may take a while. Blinds are 60,000, 120,000. Action will start with Dave Goodfriend. He's going to make the call. Oh, we with don't the see a lot of limps, so another, another limp. 
And Sean's going to check his option. Dave got a fun little blackjack hand there. Saw a couple of those last night here in the pit. <laughs> I both times doubling. I think I got a deuce and then an ace the second time. The flop is nine, eight, six. Couple of hearts. Go ahead. Action will start with Sean. He checks over to Dave. Both players now checking that board. You know, heads up, you want to just start off a little slow, right? Maybe get to know your opponent, feel out the situation, deuce the clubs on the turn. Well, now that gives Sean Roberts a double gut buster, a four or a seven gives him a straight, but Dave still has a straight draw and a pair and the best hand right now. This is really going to be the ultimate chess match because if you look at these two and their bios, they're two of the smartest players that play the HPT, some of the best players with some of the most success. This is going to be interesting. It's anybody's game. River card now is the ace of clubs. I might freeze up the action. Check, check. We flip them over. I thought that looked like a dangerous card for both of them. Now, we know Dave's a good poker player, Robert, but he also knows a little bit about the ponies. Yeah, matter of fact, I couldn't believe when I found out he's actually the Maven. He's had a 1-900 number for years, and I'm, I've actually called that number before. How cool is it to say that, you know, back in the day I had my own 900 number. He's hosted radio shows about horse racing, TV shows. He's a handicapper. I call him, text him every year for the Kentucky Derby. I say, I just need the trifecta. I just need the... He comes close every year. <laughs> you don't ask it for much. You just want the trifecta? I mean, come You're on. Right, yeah, hey, I, I know, do good yeah. when I hit the exact... Well, I'm, not, I'm not asking for the superfecta. Come on. <laughs> All right. The flop, two deuces and a tray. Couple of hearts out there. We missed a little action. We didn't miss much. Sean with jack seven. Dave with 10 eight. Sean is going to bet 170,000. And both of them with this flop. Neither one of them caught anything. And lots of times, once again, the aggressor takes down these pots. And this happens a lot. Fold. Heads up. Well, we just got off to a slow start. Not a lot of action cards. Nothing to really see. But. I got a feeling the fireworks are just a brewing, you know, backstage, if you will, because something's going to happen. They're just filling each other out right now. 156649 for first. Second place, $96,657. So, but only one of them gets the title. And these two players, of course, money's important, but they want to be a champion. You know, Sean has won two of these before, of course. Dave hoping to win his first HPT title, and he's he's trying his best right now, and he's having a pretty good night here on the felt. And Sean Roberts playing small ball. He just limps with an ace on the button. Why don't you tell our viewers how valuable an ace is heads up? The hand value goes up immensely. Any ace is a very strong hand, and well, this time, no ace on the flop, but... Dave catches the bottom pair. Sean still has a very good hand, too. He's, he's got an over card and a gut shot. Now, I asked you this on last week's show. How do players who've never played heads up, how do they practice for this moment? These two, of course, have been in situations like this, but for guys who've never made it this far, how do you prepare yourself for heads up combat? You know, what I used to do, and I did it a lot, was I'd find a friend that was a really good player, too, and we'd just go to war. We'd play small freeze-outs, sure. a series of them. And look at that turn card, a great card for Sean Roberts. Dave's going to check. Sean's trying to think, what can I extract from him here? What size bet will I get paid off? I mean, Dave still has a straight draw and a pair, so he's liable to call here if it's... A reasonable size bet. It's a bet of five hundred thousand. Wow. That's a pretty big bet, a pot size bet. Don't know if Sean's going to get paid off. That's a pretty big bet. Dave is going to fold. The winner of the hand is Sean Roberts. It's basically a prize fight, ladies and gentlemen. It's Dave, good friend Sean Roberts. Only one can be our new HPT champion. Stick around. Heads up action continues. We'll be right back after these messages. You're watching the HPT. Welcome back to the HPT. Heads up poker continues here from the Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. Beautiful Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Dave Goodfriend, Sean Roberts. Dave has the chip lead, but it's Sean Roberts. So it doesn't matter if he has one chip left. you got to fear this guy. He's one of the best players on the HPT. Nine caches, five final tables, and two wins. 60,000, 120,000, 15K ante. And Sean Roberts has managed to chip up and take away some of that chip lead that Dave Goodfriend has on him. New dealer in the box. I want to thank all the Come dealers. On. I want to thank all the staff, all the floor people. Everybody's been great. They always are here. It's just an... Oh, look at this. 
This is oh, the fireworks no. we're talking about. Look at this. Dave raises to 3.1. Sean goes yeah. all in with just a couple of aces, a couple of black aces. <laughs> and what Dave's a... in shock because he's got aces again. Sean Roberts has them twice in wow. just a short time span. Sean in a great spot to double up here. Let's go to the flop. Two queens and a oh, four. Wow. Yeah. Great flop for yeah. Sean Roberts. Runner, runner, the only way that Dave can stay away from yeah, doubling up. Please. Sean Roberts, Sean Roberts oh, making that, it. That opened the door up. Now a king or an eight, and this could be all over. Otherwise, Sean Roberts is going to double up, and his tournament hopes and his championship hopes very much alive. Wow, unbelievable. Sean with aces again. You could cut the tension with a knife right we here. We go to the river. It's the oh. ace of hearts on the river. So Sean is going to win the hand. There's one. Everybody's sitting down. We're not going anywhere. Dave Goodfriend, he's got to stay focused. He's got to stay on his game here. Just a little misstep, but Robert, a pot size of over 6 million chips. That was a monster pot. All right, blinds are 80,000, 160,000 with a 20K ante. Heads up poker at its best right here on the HBT. On the button here is Sean Roberts. And he opens for a raise. Ooh, Ooh two jacks. jacks. Wow, after just on, having pump. aces. And, all in, and Dave, and three bet shoves with ace eight of hearts. And and Unbelievable. <laughs> well, Sean's a two to one favorite here. And Sean's the one that's all in, but this is a monster pot. Dave seeing this championship slip out of his hands, two fives and a six. But most importantly on that flop, Robert, two hearts. Yes, Dave now needs an ace or a heart. He's got this back to almost a coin flip. Dave's looking at his chips going, man, I could be giving all these up. The momentum's changing. Sean in the lead right now. Two pair, jacks and fives. We go to the turn. It's the eight of diamonds. A little bit of help for Dave. Now he's got two extra outs, two, two more eights in the deck to hit. So an ace and eight or heart for Sean to get shut out. Two Biggest hand of the entire tournament the right here. Sean is all in, in the lead though. King of clubs. We go to the river. It's the oh, ace of oh. clubs, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. The ace of Six. clubs. It's a higher two pair for Dave. Sean Aces Roberts can't eights. believe what just happened to him. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. We have a new HBT champion from Chicago, Illinois, Dave Goodfriend. Yeah! A heartbreaking finish for Sean Roberts. I'll tell you what, though. He played with the heart of a champion. Now my partner in crime, James Larson, is going to do an interview and tell us just exactly how Sean's feeling. All right, joined with Sean, going out in second place. First of all, congratulations. A nice payday for you, your fifth final table. And I gotta be honest with you, you played perfect poker all day long. Well, you know, I mean, there's a lot of money at stake and sometimes perfect poker is folding hands sure. and just kind of, it's not always the most glamorous approach, but just kind of waiting your way through the field is kind of the name of the game. So another great finish for you. Now your plans for the cash, well over 90,000. What are you going to do with the money? Hey man, it's a lot of money. I, I'm happy with second. It's a, it's a lot of money. And to be honest with you, I don't even know. I haven't even really thought that far yet. To the victor goes the spoils. And I'll tell you what, David Goodfriend represented Chicago great tonight. Now it's his turn to tell us how it felt to pump that fist in the air. My friend and co-host James Larson is down on the felt to bring you this interview. All right, folks, I'm now proud to present our new HPT champion. Give it up for David Goodfriend, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! All right, David, uh, it's here, the money, the cards. What's going through your mind right now, brother? I got damn lucky. <laughs> <laughs> You've been playing the HPT, you've made final tables, you've made caches. Did you ever think you were going to win this thing? I thought if I got here enough times, I'd run good at a final table, and this really makes up for some of the run bad I've had at previous final tables. And i got to say, Sean played absolutely amazing. He was the best player today. You know, Joey didn't stick around very long, right. but uh, Joey and Sean, they're just uh, unbelievable players. All right, one last question. Who is the king of Chicago? Tonight, I am Aaron Massey. I don't care if you were player of the year. I'm king of Chicago tonight, baby. He's David Goodfriend. Give him a round of applause. Congratulations. He is our winner here going home with just over 156000 All right, well, that is a wrap here from Mount Pleasant, Michigan, coming to you from the Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. Your new HPT champion is David Goodfriend. And how about that? 
that celebration there at the end. It scared me a little bit. I'll tell you what, he was so excited. It made me excited. I think I jumped up when he won. But, you know, tell our viewers, because you've won a bracelet, you've won titles before. Is, is, it a, is it a feeling of relief at the end? Sometimes poker, it can be a marathon. I think he was really ready just to get out of there, but I know he wanted to get out of there with that 156,000 and the coveted title HPT champion. I've got to tip my hat to Sean Roberts. This guy continues to amaze me week in and week out. He's one of the greatest poker players I've ever seen play the game, and I truly mean that, Sean. Congratulations on second place, and I also want to congratulate all the folks who cashed in this event, and especially our final nine players. And we also want to thank all the players for coming out, creating such an awesome prize pool, and we'll segue right into if you want to play the HPT. It's very simple. It's open to any man or woman. Just log on to hptpoker.com, find an event that will work for you, Come on out and play for the life-changing cash. I want to play in one of these. We're just awarding money left and right. When can I get out of the booth and down there on the table? I guess I need some lessons probably first. Well, you know, I haven't seen you play that much, James, but I'll tell you what, if they do come out, it's a good chance they might run into one of us. Absolutely. So we hope to see you on the road. That's our show for tonight. For Robert Williamson III, I'm James Larson, and we'll see you next time on the HPT.